The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Here comes the Queen. And from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Charlotte has spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. It's about time I heard you pay the queen her proper respect, Saxton. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. And their partner from Dublin, Ireland, Becky. It doesn't get much better than this guy. Six-man tag team action coming up next. Actually, Cole, it can get better than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. Here comes the Riot Squad! And there are Look, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan will readily admit, listen, we're not the best of friends. We don't have a whole lot in common except for one thing, and that is to run the women's division in WWE. Big match here as we kick off this three-on-three -three contest. Ouch. Sit back and enjoy, guys. It's not every day you get to see six big-time names like this in the same match. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Strike. 
Ruby Riot is anti-establishment. She's an anarchist and someone who takes aim at those born with a silver spoon in their mouths. When it comes to Ruby, it is down with the system. To Byron's point about Ruby Riot wanting to bring down the establishment, I need to agree with that. Ruby is controlled, calculated, and possesses an abundance of self-confidence. All I hear is whining from you two. It's because of Ruby Riot's fantastic qualities that the Riot Squad is one cohesive unit. And the inspirational leader of the group is one of the premier competitors in WWE today. Harsh impact. Stomp, good grief. Got the up. Oh my goodness, crushing it. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. You spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Just a debilitating neck breaker. You gotta believe this one's over. She's absorbing some offense here. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. What? Yeah! She's in the driver's seat now. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents.
She might have it. She's almost out of it. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Oh, crushing the knee here. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She could be out of this match. This six-man match may have taken it all out of her. I don't know about you guys, but this beating is getting rather uncomfortable to watch. Here comes Charlotte. Here's Charlotte. Charlotte with the spear. That's it. That's what she needed. Going for the cover. I thought that was it. She's still in this one. Kick right to the midsection. And I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Six minutes. Natural selection. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. I think that caught everybody in this arena. She goes for the cover. Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest. A light breeze would knock him over. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. And a confidence she came into this six women's tag team match. She seems to be fading a bit. Hey, when you put six of the most competitive women on the roster today in the same ring at the same time, somebody's going to get hurt. And it just so happens to be hurt. Elbow drop! Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of... Ronda Rousey's done playing. She's starting to fight out, guys. What a six-man tag match. That match deserves another look, folks. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Look at her go. Who could forget this? And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. victory here tonight. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap up. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.